Corio we looked at um, creating three different instances. Uh, it's called instantiate. That's uh, the word used in programming. Um, or FUD class. The, the FUD class is a prototype and you can make as many copies as you want of it. Um, and so what we showed and proved is that each object we created was a different copy. If we made changes to one, it didn't affect the uh, the prototype and it didn't affect each other copy so each one was independent of the changes in each other and so we showed how to do three copies and we could do as many as one we could go into billions trillions and all the rest of it though you'd be there for I don't know, a long time let's see so what we've done we've tidied up main in the first class we took all away the the data members the variables took away all the methods and we took away those instances. We created three instances of this class. Well, what we're going to do, we've, we've took them away from the first class and we're going to have the control centre in the second class. So what we've done is we've created an object of the front class called its TC. We've created this the same way as we've done with an integer. We've just declared it, not created it. But inside the constructor, we've went tc equals new FUD class brackets. So that's an object created, and it's got the scope from here, from the start of the class till the end of the class. If we created the whole thing inside the constructor, it would just have the scope of the, bra the braces, and it would just be the scope of the braces of the constructor once the constructor was finished. Um, the object would be treated from memory, not exist anymore. So we created a program called Run Program, and this is where we're going to run the, the code from. And so to prove that we got access to the third class from second class, and we created an object there. But what we've done is we've printed out tc dot name as one of the member um, data members. So, and we printed this out. The screen and then we went tc dot name to it equals 89 we changed the file to 89 and then we printed that out to screen so when we run the program 24 was the original value and then we changed it to 89 then we printed it to screen so that's proof that we've got access and um, from this method to the third method but the reason why that worked is because in the main we created an object of the second class and then we, we called the dot operator run program, the program we, 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 we created. So as soon as this program runs, main calls the run program, executes all the code inside the run program. This is how this is going to control the program. We're going to run the program from here and main is always going to be nice and tidy. But what I'm going to show you with the main is that We've created an object of the second class which has an object created of the third class. Now we can actually get access to that from the the, the first class in main. If we go sc dot then we go to tc which in the second class we created an object of the third class and called it tc. So now we've got access to the third class from main. We go dot We've got access to all the data members um, from third and all the methods, first method, fourth method, etc. All the way down to third member and second member. Uh, and so so we've got access to them all with the dot operator. So the first object dot and an object created in that dot and we've got access to all the, just to show you because we'll do that in the future with different methods. Uh, there's many, many different ways of doing things. You can inherit and you can create objects of objects and doing things like that. And so I'll show you an example. Where we've printed out um, something to screen, we've used the class called system. Then we've got a dot operator. Um, this is an instance created of another object. Then we've got a dot operator of a method that's inside that class we've created an instance of 
and that gives us access to send something to the screen to be printed. So that's the exact same as what we've done here with the sc.tc. and then we're going to select the method and semicolon. So if that was a print method, we would put something into to print and that was printed to screen, but it's not. But it's the same sort of access, that's what I'm showing you. So that's that's us got access to the whole program from second class. And we can have that this code as long as we want and we can have methods in here. And the main's gonna be nice and tidy always.